Welcome back, everyone. Grimer here, coming at you again with another episode of Terraria. All right, you know what? We're going to do the turtle. We're finishing this strong with the turtle. That's, uh, that's the pet I'm going to keep. Okay, so uh, last episode, we took on the three mechanical bosses all at the same time, which was pretty intense. Uh, we also took on, or we also built the banker a place to stay. But now, today, it's all about... Uh, it's all about uh, beating the Moon Lord. So today I'm going to try to beat the end boss of the entire game uh, and then see if I can't farm him a bunch too. So the first thing we got to do, again, this might take a little bit, so I'm going to have to try to get... Uh, oh, I did not mean to do that. Here I am already messing things up. Let's put all this stuff back. What did I just take out of there? Um, uh, I think I had that on me. I know I didn't have 600 some platinum on me though. Quick stack. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, whatever. That's good enough. We're going to have to try to get out to the dungeon over here. Now, I do have a warp point out there, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But over here is the, the Lunar Cultist. I have to get going on this because this is going to be quite a fight. Hopefully, I have enough gear. Hopefully, I have everything I need. You know one thing I'm going to do just because this is a good idea? Uh, it's, especially if you're on expert mode, this is a good idea, but which I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few of these. Oops, grab a few of these uh, bass that I caught while fishing. I've, I've caught quite a few bass while fishing. Over here in the cyborg's house, I have this cooking pot. I'm going to go ahead and craft myself some cooked fish. So, cooked fish, if you eat one of them, it gives you a buff uh, right here. Well fed. Lasts for 19 minutes. Minor improvements to all stats. Not a bad thing to have, actually, when you're uh, when you're facing off against bosses and stuff. Having you know, a little bit of regen and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead and get some weapons, actually, on my hotbar here so I can actually do stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, and actually, let's... Um, Let's get these buffs going right here, and then I'll head out there, and let's uh, summon in two of my uh, tsunamis. All right, I'm going to go take on the uh, Lunar Cultist now. Now, the Lunar Cultist will kick off the Celestial Event. That's when everything kicks off. Fair warning, I'm probably going to die a lot in this. I do have to try to beat the Lunar Cultist without dying, though, so I'm going to definitely be trying that. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, I have to just go over here and just mow over these guys to kick everything off. And bam, just like that, he's going to start up. There's a the creepy noise. I'm going to go up here and start... Uh, Spritzing him right away. Let's get a couple of these storm clouds out here. Try to get him caught in that. Spritz him immediately. Try to get some uh, get uh, get some extra damage on him there. So it's gonna get crazy when he starts to split himself. Though this guy is actually pretty tough. Like that. I'm actually not doing that great of damage to him. I think the sword might be doing better. I gotta try to avoid his attacks best I can. Every time he jumps, I lose lock on him too, so. Alright, great, now there's three of them. It doesn't appear like the uh, golden shower is actually doing anything to him. Uh, I might be just not seeing it right, but it looks like that's not actually hurting him much. Oh, he's got four of them there now. That's not good. Let's, uh, let's cast this guy out here, too, to help out a little bit. That dragon's kind of crazy. This is not the end boss of the game. <laughs> This is the like the secretary or the uh, the the herald of the end boss of the game. I was hoping to kill him a lot faster. This actually gives me quite a bit of concern. If I don't have enough strength to beat this guy, uh, how am I supposed to beat the Moon Lord? Yeah, the sword seems to be doing more damage per second than the shotgun was. Oh, he's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. He's dead. Okay, so that kicks off. Okay, so he, he just dropped the Ancient Manipulator. Oh, boy. I think I'm in the solar area already. Okay, so those those things... Okay, yeah, I am in the solar area already. It's right above me. Yep, okay, so there's the solar tower. This is the first one I need to take out. It's a good thing I set my spawn here, because this is actually probably where I'm going to die the most out of all the towers. This is going to be it right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buff up, too, while I'm out here. Uh, because I'm gonna need it. These uh, these eel things are a problem for me. I gotta make sure I hit them. They gotta be hitting the in the tail. I gotta try to kill a hundred enemies while I'm out here, and then that'll drop the shield on that tower that was floating up above there, and I can do direct damage to the tower. I think what I'll do is uh, let's try to get this thing. 
Got it. And let's uh, let's cast a couple of storm clouds right over that tower side. If I do break the uh, if I do break the shield on that thing, it just immediately starts taking damage. These these snake things are the worst out of all the things here. Go ahead and use a potion because I'm already dying. The snake things are the worst. You have to hit them in their tail, and that's the only place you can actually hurt them. But they can hurt you with any part of their body. Let's go ahead and refresh this thingy. Doing my best to survive. I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would out here. I thought I would die immediately, and these snake things are the reason why. Now, every time I kill one of these things, you might notice that there's a little red line, a little laser beam that goes shooting up to the tower there. And what that is, is that's slowly taking down the tower's defenses. Let's go ahead and refresh these things again. So that hopefully I can actually get around to getting in there. Kill a bunch more of them here. That was good. Trying to avoid damaging attacks here as best I can. But these guys are really tough. This is the end game material right here. This is where you want that extra defense. This is where you want all that other fun jazz. Is the tower exposed yet? No, it's not. Take out this serpent. There we go. Another one already spawned in. That's not good. Oh, I already got him. No problem. I say no problem, but I mean, there's one immediately back again. All right, let's hurry up and take out these 100 enemies we need. Now, the reason why I want to take out this one right away is because when I killed that uh, that Lunar Cultist, I got an Ancient Manipulator. Now, the Ancient Manipulator allows me to craft some really good endgame uh, weapons and stuff, and that's what I'm going to be trying to do before I fight the Moon Lord. I'm going to try to uh, create some uh, really powerful weapons. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hurting unit right now. Can I use another potion? I can. Okay. Got rid of that serpent again, or that snake. Whatever they're called. That thing. The thing that keeps killing me. Uh, I'm amazed that I'm alive or, uh, still at this point. I gotta get that thing there. There we go. Got him. Now hopefully the shield on that thing breaks soon. Like I said, you gotta kill 100 enemies. Now you can get banners for these guys too, which make it a little bit easier if you hang them up. But I mean, hanging them up mid-battle is a little crazy. This thing down yet? There it is. The shield just broke. Shield just broke. Now I just gotta keep doing damage to it until it blows up, and then this tower will eventually fall. I love the background, how it changes. There we go. Keep hitting it, keep hitting it. I gotta I gotta take a break here just a little bit and stay off the stay down below. Try to recover some health. I got okay, I got another potion used. Nice. There we go. Got both of the both of the uh, things up there. It's doing constant damage now. Hopefully, I think it's destroyed it pretty soon. I might actually be able to take it out just with the storm clouds with the Nimbus rod. Very useful weapon for ever since I got it. They took me to the beginning of hard mode. I just gotta hold off these enemies until then. Yeah, it's almost dead. Doing extra damage to it. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Kill all these guys if I can. Just keep doing damage to the thing. Take out that tower. Tower is destroyed. All right, so that's one of four. Now, if I can, ooh, if I cannot die here, which I'm really close to dying. Yep, there we go. I, I took it out though. I'm actually surprised that you see down the bottom left it says your mind goes numb. Okay, so I did actually manage to survive taking out the tower. I just died at the end because I was really kind of pushing myself there. Imagine, uh, imagine I was like a. Uh, the soldiers yelling, they're pushing me, sir. Yeah, that's what was happening right there. Okay, so these things right here, these uh, these solar fragments. Okay, now that's why it's important. Now, you notice that all the enemies kind of went away now. The tower is destroyed. I don't have to worry about it anymore. That's one of four across the land someplace. Kind of unfortunate, semi-fortunate. Actually, it was pretty good, good that it was here. Uh, the reason why is because if you look at, at the whole map, <clears throat> there's one right here. This is the nebula pillar. This is the uh, Stardust Pillar, and this is the Vortex Pillar down here, okay? They're spread all across the land. I have to go to each and every single one of them. Do the exact same thing I just did, but they're different enemies there. Uh, I think that the Solar Pillar is probably the most difficult, but I'll probably be eating my words here in a little bit. Okay, Ancient Manipulator. Uh, used to craft items from Lunar Fragments and Luminite. Now, I'm going to slap this down right away because I just killed the Solar once. I got these Solar Fragments, and there's a weapon in here that I really want to get. Uh, I believe it's this one, the Solar Eruption, like 127 damage, which is a little less than this, but the, this thing is so much fun. Now, these things are like javelins, 181 damage. It's really cool. They stick into enemies and light them on fire. Really great. It shoots really fast. Except for the uh, the Solar Eruption actually can swing through blocks. 
so and it swings out to like yeah right about here is where my mouse cursor is so this should help me against the moon lord actually so i'm gonna actually go ahead and make that out of the fragments i got actually, i actually could make the other weapon too but i'm gonna save these because i want to create some armor out of it i got the strong uh solar eruption that's pretty good let's go ahead and replace torches because i think i'm beyond torches at this point um I think I'm, uh, I don't really need to worry about lighting things up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now, this is the weapon right here. Wah, wah. So, this thing can reach through blocks. Now, was there an enemy over here? There was a flying fish. Yeah, get wrecked, flying fish. Okay. So, yeah, this thing uh, kind of just flails out in the direction that you're swinging it. So, it's kind of inaccurate. But, let's go ahead and get back. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got to do that. Derp. Let's go ahead and get back. And then uh, try to re-roll this thing since I have a fortune and get, like, uh, legendary, I guess, would be the best you could get on it. I'm just guessing there. But probably... Oh, no, I don't need to buy anything from you. I just need you to re-roll something for me, buddy. Uh, this thing, the the solar eruption. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when I do that. That's my <laughs> biggest pet peeve in Terraria is when you warp back, you don't de you know click on something else in your hotbar, and then you misclick, and you warp away from whatever you're trying to do. Reforged. All right, let's re-roll this. 22 gold, pff, chump change. Superior, not good enough. Strong, no. Shoddy, no, definitely not. Come on, where is it? Where's the legendary? Unpleasant would be nice. Superior is great. Godly, that sounds cool, but no, I'm looking for legendary. Broken, not any of the bad ones. I, I got an infinite amount of money. I will sit here all day if I have to. Okay, so over after blowing almost 20 platinum on this already, I just found out that Godly or Demonic is actually the best one you can get on. Look at that. Bam, right there. Okay, so I got, I got Godly. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, I'm not seeing Legendary pop up. 20 platinum into it. Nothing. But that's okay. 20 platinum. Pff, chump change. I still got this. Uh, this uh, the bankers uh, or the tax collectors uh, pissing all over this roof here. Haven't quite figured that out. Figured I'd probably, uh, probably just, you know, leave it. Leave it. It'll probably be fine. All right, let's go over here and take out the Nebula Tower. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, now that we got the solar eruption, yeah, I mean, I can hit multiple enemies at once with it, too, so, if, I don't know, maybe crowd control. Definitely still going to keep using the Nimbus Rod, because that comes in real handy. And, luckily, Santa's not over here, because, uh, <laughs> that'd be bad for him. Yep, here we go, we're getting up close to it now. There's the enemies. Now, one of these things, I think it's a Vortex one, I don't remember which one it is. Is it up high? Where is the actual tower? No, it's farther ahead. One of these enemies do like mind control stuff and it's kind of creepy. Oh, that creates a weird effect. Alright, let's get this uh, uh, solar eruption out doing its work. After all, that's why I got it, right? I just realized all my buffs that I had from like uh, my. to boost my. Uh, uh, boost my uh, Tempest staff and stuff like that. All all are gone now, so I should have probably refreshed that before I came out here. Would have been a good idea, especially since one increases the uh, damage output of melee weapon. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked too. Let's buff up again real quick. I also don't have any campfires around here or anything like that, so I mean, I gotta, I gotta be careful on this one. I should have really planned this out better, but you know what? I'm just going in head first, leading with my chin. Why not? That little blinding effect that they cause is really nifty. Really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and slap this bad boy down too and get him going. Come on, enemies. Get up here and fight me. I don't want to come down there. Alright, so there's weird alien things here basically that I'm killing at this point. Still same thing as a solar... Enemies here, I gotta actually kill a hundred of them. I think there's a werewolf in there, actually. I don't think that was... Oh, actually, I forgot. I don't have to come down there to kill him. I can just kill him from up here. I need those things to stop shooting me because I'm very close to death. I can potion up again, though, so that's all good. Oh, no, it wasn't a werewolf. It was just that weird monster thing is taking damage. These little things that shoot lasers are really annoying. Okay, I got a brain sucker banner there. If I, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm, there's no, no no way I'm surviving this. Zero chance. There we go. All right. So cool thing is you don't have to kill 100 enemies at once. Like it'll save the amount of enemies that I did kill. Now before I run over there, I'm gonna buff up obviously, uh, and then I'm going to visit the nurse too, so I can get all my health back without using a potion. Uh, and then I'm going to. Uh, um, Make a campfire. Bring that with me. 
Ooh, she's actually kind of close to one of these towers over here. Heal me, and then I'll get away from you. Uh, let's see, let's toss that out of there for a second. Now, the armor that you can make when you beat this whole thing, when you defeat the Moon Lord and everything, is pretty awesome. So, I can't wait to get to that point, because then I can, uh, once I level up my guys pretty good, I can just start farming that stuff. Let's throw out all this stuff right here. That Brain Sucker thing I might try to, try to uh, place quick. Let's go ahead and get that ready. And then let's click on uh, that guy, that guy, that guy. And then let's uh, pump out a couple of these guys. All right, now I'm not really using the death sickle much, so I'm gonna replace that and I'm gonna get ready to slap down a campfire. And then uh, then give that another go, round two over there. Okay, I did do some damage, I did make some progress. I thought I was gonna die like that on the solar tower. I'm kind of amazed that I haven't actually. Um, I died at the end of it, but. <laughs> All right, there's that thing. Can this place anywhere? Probably not. I'm gonna have to place it down here. Place the thing, thank you. Alright, so. Alright, round two. A little bit more buffed up this time. Not by much. But the same dealio when I kill one of these things, you see a little red laser thing go shooting back towards the um towards the uh the the shield there. Same concept, you know, with them, uh, there it is, the shield's down. Rain on that thing. Alright, doing some decent damage to it. I wonder if this thing gets affected. I don't think it does. It looks like the minions do, though. I just gotta try not to die. Let's go ahead and heal really quick so I can try to ensure my survival, maybe. Man, I'm hurting. I'm hurting unit. Shoe brain suckers. I'm, I'm just trying to keep these things back. Take that thing down. Before that guy kills me. Okay, it took down the tower. Now I gotta, once again, just try not to die from the remaining enemies and I should be good. Okay, let's grab these nebula fragments because they'll come in handy later. I, th I think it's either them or the stardust ones, but those things are uh, really helpful for creating a really powerful mage class. Um, oh, it's also a full moon because I just got some deathweed seeds there. Alright, sweet. Took that one down. Uh, let me go uh, sort some inventory real quick and then we'll head on to the next to tower. Okay, I'm back. We had I had to go get some more uh, armored cave fish. I actually ran out of these endurance potions right here, and uh, that's kind of a big thing. You kind of want those things. All right, so let's go over here and take on, uh, what is this, the Vortex? Stardust, the Stardust Pillar. I think these are the brain-controlling ones. Uh, that should be quite entertaining. I do have the the uh, nurse right there to run back and heal if I really need to. Get away from me, shoo. Trying to get to your pillar first. Just booking it. I should have, once again, I forgot to build a, uh, a thing, a campfire. So it looks like these uh, orbs, they break into three smaller orbs, and then those orbs uh, can form new ones. So if you don't kill the three smaller ones right away, you're going to be in trouble. Let's take that thing out quick. Speaking of being in trouble. Let's see if I can't go bink, 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 place that quick. Lost a lot of health doing that, but hopefully it'll pay off in the end. Let's go ahead and buff up again. Use a potion. Get back in this fight. But that solar uh, eruption really wrecks those uh, those orb things too. Yeah, I actually don't think that this is the brain controlling ones. I think that's going to be the last one. It's going to be a real pain. <laughs> these snake, uh, these little worm things are kind of annoying, but seem to be able to handle them no problem. You can hit these guys in the face at least, unlike the solar ones where you had to hit them right in the uh, right in the tail. That solar eruption really wrecks enemies here, though. I'm really liking that. I'm so glad I took on that solar place first. All right, just kill, keep killing. Now that I got the campfire down, I seem to be doing better. I'm gonna have to try to remember to either grab that before I go or just make another one or something. Wow, that guy's really moving. Let's 
So long term, the, the goal here is to defeat the Moon Lord, and the Moon Lord drops a variety of weapons, so I'm only going to get my hands on one of them if I beat him once. So I will have to farm him a few times to get the things I'm looking for. Uh, specifically, I'm looking for the last prism is actually the weapon I'm looking for. If I can find that, that'd be great. I see you up here, little guys. Creepy. Alright, come on. I need to knock down that shield. We gotta be getting close to 100 enemies now. Took out a whole wave of them there. Let's get these uh, these guys refreshed. And let's, uh, let's slap this guy down too. Why not? Health is getting a little low. I might want to be a little cautious on that. Those worms, though. Hundred enemies, come on. There it goes. Shield is down. Do direct damage to the core. Try and keep those bad guys back while I do this. With enough pressure put on them, eventually that core will fall. Those, uh, the rain clouds constantly raining down on it are a really nice touch. Go ahead and use a potion because it's starting to get a little sketchy there. Rain clouds have disappeared, it seems. Oh, there it goes. The tower has fallen. Mop up the rest of these guys. There's an enemy down there that I think is actually being a real problem for me, but I can't quite reach him. Oh, well, he'll disappear. Let's grab these Stardust Fragments. I can actually create a, uh, a pickaxe. Oh, I missed one right there. I can actually create a pickaxe with these things. You know what I'm going to remember? I'm going to remember this. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it there in case I have to do this again, which I, I definitely will. Uh, that way, it'll still be there when the next tower spawns in. So, All right, so there we go. I got the uh, Stardust uh, Fragments. Let's get on to the next area right away before these potions all wear off and see if I can't... Uh, I think it's something going there, too. I did make another one of these guys, so I, ho I should just be able to slap one down. Uh, you know what? This one might actually be faster if, uh, yeah, if I go to my warp point. Let's get over to my, my little uh, teleporter I got over here. And then come back the other way. Flash right through the wall there. Solar, uh, or some uh, the water candles. I could place them. Making me spawn like crazy, but I mean, I'm already having uh, quite a bit of a difficult time dealing with them as is. So maybe I'll just skip that part. All right, some of these potions are already wearing off. I only have 30 some seconds on the endurance, or not the endurance potion, the uh, the uh, defense potion there. Let's go ahead and get this guy ready. Oh, there's a campfire here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I didn't actually, the one the one campfire I didn't need to, I actually remembered. Get the storm clouds going in case this thing breaks. Yeah, these are the mind control ones. Okay, some of them are falling down that hole. That's not what I was hoping for. I'm gonna fight them over here, trying to keep them away from falling in that hole. 100 enemies, come on, you guys. Now, once these guys are done, okay, I gotta get back to my arena then, once that happens. Because I got maybe a minute, maybe a minute, and the Moon Lord will attack. Uh, it's a big celestial godlike Cthulhu being that attacks me in the background of the world. I gotta make sure that I take him out, otherwise all of this was for nothing and I gotta try again. Man, there's a lot of enemies here too. Look at this, this is nuts. Thank God I made that solar eruption right away. Like, this, this weapon is amazing. It's a great ranged weapon. It doesn't go like as far as other ranged weapons, but it's a great ranged weapon. It can go through blocks like those guys down there, just wreck them. Oh, I'm floating a little bit. One of those things doing this brain control thing on me.
Oh, it, all right. The solar, the the shield is down already. Let's do constant damage to this thing. These portals all around are popping up more of these hornet wasp things. Look at that, I got a, I got a banner, 50 of those things I killed already. So like half the enemies that opened up the shield were from those little hornet wasp things. I do have to keep an eye on my health. In fact, I'm gonna buff up right here just because. I think I'm holding my own pretty good though. A lot better than I thought I was gonna do. I only died uh, on one pillar, not counting the solar pillar where I, I beat it and then I died. All right, that, that pillar is down, that pillar is down. All right, so I gotta grab these fragments, so I gotta get out of here quick. Now you see impending doom approaches in the bottom corner. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's get out of here. You see the whole screen is actually shaking, like if I stand still for a second. Let's uh, make sure I got some potions and stuff going on there. You'll see like uh, the screen itself is like vibrating. Yeah, that means the Moon Lord's coming. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully, big fingers crossed here, I'm able to beat this guy. Because that would be, one, really embarrassing if I if I just did all that and then I died. Uh, two, really embarrassing because I built this whole arena thing and then I die. Amy, could you please get back in the freaking room? Get get over here. Get in there, Amy. Okay, so I, I yeah, that could be a problem. I really am going to need her to be alive. Uh, but yeah, hopefully she doesn't stay right there because she's probably going to die. I probably should have timed this better so that I was fighting him at night when they'd all hide inside then. But, oh well. I don't have much of a choice now, so I'm gonna get ready as soon as he spawns in. I'm gonna buff up and the fight begins. There it is, buff up. Here's the end boss of the game. It all comes down to this. Now I need to hit his hands when they're open like that. Uh, and then I basically I'm gonna try to tank this damage uh, best I can. Which I'm doing alright. Now I want to weaken his hands pretty close to down, but I also need to hit his forehead when that's opened up as well. Keeping eye on, swinging wildly at his hands, keeping eye on his forehead. There's foreheads open, I'm going to do damage to that. See that death beam he shoots out right there? Yeah, that's the thing that I needed to make sure I was guarding against. I should have cast a rain cloud up there actually at the beginning, I didn't even think about that. Come on, open that forehead again. It's not, his hand's almost done. There it goes. All right, so his forehead's open. Doing all right damage-wise, or, you know, damage-wise, or uh, health-wise. Okay, that hand is done. Now we got the true eye of Cthulhu spawning out there. Oh, that's not, that's not doing it. Uh, it's going to keep raining down terrible things on me. Once that uh, death beam goes off again, I'm going to jump down and heal up from the, the uh, nurse just real quick. I just want to make sure that I don't do that when he's doing the death beam. Healed up. Alright. That's good. That's good. Alright. Hopefully she stays alive. I got to deal with that other hand, though. So once I get his hand down, let's do this. Get some range on there because I can't hit this that one thing with the with the solar eruption when he goes off to the side like that. Oh. The forehead's open. I think I missed it. Alright. It's okay. Man. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Come on, let's take out that other hand. Oh, his forehead's open. See, I'm doing 1,200 some damage per second. That's pretty good. Considering I don't have end game yet, I've, I've just got pretty good end game. Okay, there's both of his uh, hands. Now it's just his forehead. I'm focusing all energy on the forehead. Once this goes down, though. Okay, there goes the death blast thing. Heal up again from the nurse. Uh, once his forehead goes down, then uh, all I have to do is take out the heart, and he is done. So I need I need to tank the damage until there we go until his forehead opens up. Keep hitting him all full on in the head. Come on, open that eye. So the hardest part about this guy is actually just stomaching all the damage. Now the beetle armor is holding up very well, so I don't have to worry about the. Uh, about my defense, it looks like, which is the big thing. That death beam that he shoots out of his forehead is huge. It hurts so much, and having this platform above me prevents me from taking damage from that. The rest of the stuff, though, I kind of I, I don't have much of a choice. I just have to tank. 
Alright, or is that Death Beam again? Oh, there it is. Okay, his chest is open now. Let's go ahead and heal up one more time. Get up here again. And then deal damage directly to his heart. The final boss of the game taking the final blows right here. The coup de gras. That solar eruption is doing some work on him. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and get some rain clouds right here on top of me. So that just keeps raining down on him as well. There we go. Yeah. Let's finish this big celestial beast off. And this is what it all comes down to in Terraria. Okay, now my health is about half, so I'm going to do another one of these dip down here. Heal at the mer uh, at the nurse. Go back to doing some damage again. Come on, finish this guy off. He's on to about a third of his health left. Now, hopefully I get the last prism from this. Otherwise, like I said, i got to do it over and over again. But this will be the finale here for you guys. Uh, the next episode will be a fun one against some other fun waves, but this is the end boss right here. 24 episodes on, came down to this, right here. Die, you celestial moon bitch! He's almost dead. I'm getting kind of weak with these. He is done! That is it! The end of the moon lord! Hooray, hooray! Boom! Game over. What did I get? What did I get? Oh! I got the solar, or the, the lunar flare. This thing's awesome. It's like a carpet bomb. Okay, that's a really good weapon, especially for, uh, for, um, uh, crowd controls. But, you know, it takes quite a bit of, uh, of mana, so I'd have to build a mage class to even use that. But it is a really good weapon. It's not the one I was looking for. I'm looking for the, uh, last prism. That thing's basically a death star beam. Uh, so I'm gonna have to keep rolling through this guy and farming it, but that is it That is the final boss of the game all the bosses have been defeated with the exceptions of the ones in the frost moon and the uh, The pumpkin moon uh, which I'll be doing in the final episode next week So hopefully if you did enjoy this one, please be sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys next week for the finale Thank you so much for watching and goodbye This lunar flare works great